Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Dragonflight. This is phase two of the pre-patch, and today we can create our actual Drac the Revoker in the live game. So that is what we will be doing today. We'll be going through all of the story stuff, letting the cutscenes play out, reading the quest, and just having a good time getting immersed in the live version of the Drac the Revoker starting experience. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being here, and I really do appreciate you clicking on the video. I tend to play WoW a little bit differently than most people you might have seen on the internet, and that is that I like to just kind of have a relaxing time exploring the world that we love. I like to have the music up, the effects up, and just kind of let everybody get immersed in the content. I will have a marker in the description if you want to skip the character creation. You can go ahead and do that, but we are going to do some customizing here. Now, for the beta, we went with the male. We're going to go with the female body type for actual release. Uh, but for now, let's think about our Drakthir. I think eventually the future of this Drakthir would probably be as a healer. So maybe going with a green or a bronze. Do I like either of the greens? This one is okay. We could do a green and gold. That looks kind of cool. We could change the body pattern. So what are the so the body pattern is not these markings. The body markings are here. Let's go with that. I do like that. Uh, chest spikes. I'm not really a big fan of the chest spikes. Leg spikes? I don't know. Now, what I don't know is this. We have, like, armor options here. Where we can cover ourselves up in, like, this default Drakthir armor, which does look pretty cool. What I'm not sure about is if we don't select any of this stuff, if we don't select any of it, are we going to equip the actual armor that we pick up? We're going to test this theory, and if all else fails, I can go back to a barber shop and do the, I can do a recustomization, I'm sure, and just enable all this stuff, because the armor actually looks really good. We'll go ahead and turn on like some of it here so you guys can take a look. And again, if you're not into the character creation, go ahead and look below. There's going to be a link to skip to the actual questing and story. Uh, I'll turn all this stuff on. Some variation or another. And you can see that it, it actually looks really cool. Last time we missed um, the legs, so we'll have to get those on this time. Thighs, yeah. There we go. Feet. Well, still really, those aren't really pants, even though... Oh, here we go. We, we missed... Uh, we, no, we had this. But yeah, as you can see, it looks really cool, right? It's really cool looking. But, uh, I like to... Uh, I like to see my armor in the game. I like to get a new piece of armor, and I like to have that change how my character looks. You know what I mean? Because to me, that's kind of part of the reward of getting a new piece of gear, is seeing how it looks on your character. So, we're going to turn all this stuff off for the time being. We're going to go in naked, as it were. And uh, we'll see how that goes. For our tail, we can do a lot of different stuff. Uh, I like the uh, spade seems pretty functional. Tail ridge. Uh, we can do... let's just do none. Okay, so now into the face. We can have ears, which we should probably have some ears. I like the natural looking ears. Uh, our brow can have different things on it. I, I kind of like that. There's only three faces, but most of the customization comes from the snout. Go 
I really like the raptor. Ancient is pretty cool as well. Let's go with Raptor. Alright, uh, what else do we need to customize? Horn color? We could definitely... Uh, do I like any of the golds for the horn color? Yeah, that's not bad. As far as the horns themselves... Maybe something like that? Okay, yeah, I, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think we need a crest. Uh, of the body sizes here, we'll just go with number one. That is fine. Uh, secondary color... Oh, okay, secondary color strength. Where is this secondary color pulling from? Oh, here we go. No, that's the strength. Marking color is gold. Hmm. Alright, we'll leave it like this. Let's check out the visage form here. Um, I like to go no horns for the visage form. Let's check our hairstyle, which I guess... Probably just missing it. Here we go. Alright, let's look at some of the other hairstyles.
All right. Well, let's go with that. Didn't think about a name before going into this. This would have been smart. All right. That is what we are going with. I've never seen any of this, so... Very cool. That was a nice little cutscene. Don't really know exactly what was happening. Some kind of battle. Uh, from our past, no doubt. Awaken Drakthir. Only flashes of memory remain as you shake off what feels like an endless sleep. The Drakthir before you is unresponsive, frozen in place by some unknown magic. You sense that within you lies the power to break your ally free. There may be others within the crash who are suspended in this stasis. It is your duty to awaken them. Okay, uh, let's get a couple things going here. Action bar wise. We do need action bar 2. That should be fine. Controls, of course, auto loot needs to be turned on. Because of course it does. And as far as abilities, I'll go through these in case you guys aren't familiar with the class. Uh, Living Flame here sends a flickering flame towards your target, dealing 1600 fire damage to an enemy or healing an ally for 2200. It's going to be a 1.7 second cast. Azure Strike is an instant cast spell. Project intense energy onto two enemies, dealing 771 spell frost damage to them. We have a Wing Buffet, which is a knockback on a 1.5 minute cooldown. And Tail Swipe, which knocks enemies into the air. Also an Interrupt, uh, also on a minute and a half cooldown. And then we have Glide. Which we don't need to be Keybound. What? What? Evoker! What has happened? Who did this to us? Something is very wrong here. We must find our wingmates. This way. The track they are breaking free. Contain them. These bones are brittle from the long decay of time. Have they been here for decades, centuries? Impossible to know. A faint hint lingers of the arcane magic that held Kathan in stasis. You feel a pang of loss. He was your friend. In here, Evoker. How long were we held in stasis? A very long time, by the look of our crash. Azurathel listens to your report. My memories are as broken as yours, but we cannot dwell on that now. We need to assess and make a plan. 
Fair skies and strong winds. Gear up. Hostiles have invaded. Our people have been confined in magical stasis and our crush seems to be collapsing. This is why we train. When in doubt, fall back to what you know. First things first, weapons, armor, supplies. Gather what you can find and get equipped while I marshal our forces. Then we will locate to the Earth Warden. Surely Neltharian can provide the answers we seek. The Obsidian Warders stand proud. And we got Disintegrate. This is a channeled ability that's going to cost three essence. That's our resource here. Tear into an enemy with a blast of blue magic inflicting 3100 spell frost damage over two and a half seconds and slowing their movement speed by 30% for three seconds. Let's move that here. Let us begin. Arcane Guardians, those constructs patrolling the crash are not animated by the Earth Warder's magic. Dervishian narrows her eyes. We cannot allow there to be enemies in our midst. Destroy them to clear our path forward. Remain. Gear up, Evoker. Then we rendezvous with the Earth Warder. Neltharion can explain what has happened. I am certain of it. All right, so I think for now we're going to open up sleep, with Disintegrate. Be destroyed. And just basically do that as soon as we can. As soon as we regenerate enough essence, we're going to want to Disintegrate. It's little guys we could probably take care of with Azure Strike. So we unlocked this room with the power crystal. Edict Weirns. Weirns. All Drakthors shall be assigned to a Weirn that best matches their skills. Each Weirn is focused on mastering a particular aspect of warfare. Attackers, defenders, healers, tacticians, and infiltrators. Together these units form the ultimate army. Every Weirn shall be under the authority of a scale commander, a Drakthir chosen and groomed to for the position by the Earth Warder himself. Members of a Wern will become as close as clutch mates. It is a bond that shall never be broken, forged of duty and honor in the service of Dragonkind. Yeah, we didn't read these in the in the beta, so I'm gonna have a look. Edict, the Earth Warder. My Drakthir, know that you exist at my behest. Through relentless training, you will be honed into the finest soldiers on Azeroth. I, Naltharian, the Earth Warder, empowered by the Titan Kaz Garath to serve as the Guardian of the Deep Places, created you to act as instruments of my will. While other Dragonkin are sturdy and loyal, they lack cleverness and adaptability needed to fight the war that is sure to come against those who defy the reign of the Aspects. You shall embody the might of all five Dragonflights instilled with the potential of the mortal races that have begun to spread across our world. Through service, you will find glory. Never yield, never surrender. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, just a blue magic wand. Empowered with blue magic for 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, that gave it to us automatically. Dealing damage has a chance to blast the target with arcane damage. Okay, cool. All right, let's spawn a guardian. I'm kind of curious if there are any more like optional rooms with more runes that we could the read. The are relics of a forgotten past. They have no place in Azeroth.
So we've got the weapons. We're grabbing the rations. Then we need a crate of war scales. Alright, that ticked this guy off. Let's deal with him. What I've learned in Dragonflight so far is that when there is a, is a template on the ground, if an enemy is laying down an ability, you really, really do want to get out of it. It's usually not just a little bit of damage that you take, it's usually like a stun. And uh, it's, it's never fun, so... Always move out of it if you can. It's worth it. It's worth it to stop what you're doing and move out of it if you can. The Drakthea, stand ready. Those constructs were animated with the blue dragonflight magic. The Earth Warder would never have allowed this. Fair skies and strong winds, friend. What is your report? Stay true. This gear is ancient way. and the food has turned to dust. It makes no sense. Those rations should have lasted a lifetime. Well, we will make do with what we have. The truck fear. We'll find a your skills are needed, Evoker. The crash is crumbling and we have few supplies. We must reach the passage out. But we have to get past this arcane barrier first. In the chamber beyond, there are Drakthir in need of aid. Tend their wounds, destroy any foe who stands in your way. This may be the last time we walk these halls together. Make it count. Stay true to your wear. Oh, cutscene. Syndra Thresh, can you bring down this barrier? Zuri, just the reinforcements I needed. Have you found the Earth Warder? No. He is not in this chamber. But there is a... A different dragon. Come forth, loyal servants of Malagos. Show no mercy to these aberrations. Well, this should be fun. What do you remember, Zuri? Before the stasis? Only fragments. A battle against a great- No escape for you, Drakthia! We will find answers. But first, we need to get our people out of here. By wing or by talon, we will see it done. I see that I'm going to have to maybe have to move the UI around a little bit. Maybe I should just move my personal resource display to show up here. That would probably be better. Let's go into options interface uh, I thought it would be in the interface I don't know why I always have trouble finding this these days. Combat, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it's going to be in combat. It's not in general. Yeah, really, it has to be in the interface. Always oh, show nameplates, larger nameplates, friendly nameplates, overlapping. Display in game navigation. 
Very weird. I'll look it up later. is going to collapse our only way out. We are bound by duty. The obsidian warders stand proud. The dragon at the door. That blue dragon will collapse the crash and trap us inside. He claims to serve Malagos. That name is familiar, but why would any dragon want to keep us prisoner? Listen, we were trained to fight beside the dragons, not against them, but we have been left with no choice. Time to do what must be done, Evoker. You have your orders. Speaking of gear, we were trained to defend dragons, not to fight. Should be equipping it. This feels wrong. The Pesagos has left us no choice, Suri. He means to destroy us. So today, we fight for each other. For all Drakthia. Well said, my friend. And yeah, I guess if if you don't give your Drakthia any clothes, they will never wear clothes. So that kind of answers that question. Which I, I should have assumed that was the case, but I did want to test it. So yeah, we, we are wearing gear, but we don't show our gear. The, the visage form shows the gear, but not the direct gear form. You dare defy the will of Malagos? We do. We should get out of that. Training grounds are completely overgrown. We must have been in stasis for a very, very long time. Cut the chatter, Kodethi. Hostas could be lurking. Evoker, time to get those skills sharpened. I am ready. What do you need? We will get that rubble cleared and make sure no Drakthir is left behind, but first we need to secure this area. Anything for an ally. You're an evoker, the best of the best, an elite soldier who has mastered the skills of each of our weirns. I expect a lot of you. Your memories may be broken, but the might of the dragons courses through your veins. Harness it. One of your most potent weapons is your breath attack. The fire within becomes more powerful the longer you inhale. These insects swarming over our training grounds should make a fine target. Let's get back to training. All right, so we have breath, fire breath, inhale, stoking your inner flame, release to exhale, burning enemies in a cone in front of you for 6,200 fire damage, reduced beyond five targets. So you can see the breakdowns here at the levels one, two, and three. But we should probably do some testing here. I'm assuming that's one. Now we can, uh... There is a way to... Refresh this. Over here, yep.
Okay, it's only the crystal, not the braziers. So it says we've casted Fire Breath 1 and 3, but not Fire Breath 2. Okay, I thought we casted 2. One, two. Huh. Kind of want to see some of the numbers again, but... There's nothing around to shoot at right now, so... We are the shield of the Arcane Intrusion! That beacon ahead, I'm certain it was not there before we were imprisoned. Spellcraft is not my forte, but I know arcane magic when I see it. The same magic is used by the blue dragon in the crash. He said a name, Malagos. It sounds so familiar, but the Earth Warder's teachings feel distant, fragmented. If this Malagos put us into stasis, maybe the arcane beacon was placed on his orders. Investigate the area and report back. Ensure the beacon cannot be used to call in enemy reinforcements. The track the beacon pulses with magic. It may have been placed there to contain us, or to send a signal. Here to spar. Anything for an ally. All right, so we are moving on to the beacon now. Have a little look around. Azurthel listens intently as you tell him what you witnessed. So there were beacons placed outside the other crashes as well? Our allies are in peril, we must reach them. Fair skies. We have income. Die, Draxir! Hembethal! Thank the Earth Warder. Her wisdom is needed. What do you have to report? Stretch your wings. I'm heartened to see that so many escaped the war crush. My own weirin was not as fortunate. Emberthal stands in silence for a moment. There are other crushes throughout the reach, filled with drag beer and peril. Strong wings will be needed to reach them. Focus, remember your training. Get a feel for the wind again. You must regain your strength and fly to the other crushes. The time for rest is over. Stage. It is good to see you, Emberthal. But where is your weirin? I awakened. The rest of my Drakthir did not. May their names be ever remembered. May their names be ever remembered. Any new discoveries? All right, let's begin our flight training. Diplomacy we are going to move this flight. over here.
And we just need to fly through all of the rings. What is the situation? I believe in planning, not luck. Now we're learning about diving, so we can dive down, pick up speed, and then go back up. Ah, uh, where is the last ring? Oh, it looks like we missed it back here. The Drakthea, stand ready. Remain steadfast. Any new discoveries? Fair skies and Jumping through hoops is helpful spread. to get your bearings, but we train like we fight relentlessly. Go ahead and try soaring around the area until you feel you've mastered the technique. Of course, you must be mindful of local wildlife and keep an eye out for any potential threats. That is why we practice after all. Diplo Fair skies and strong winds, Evoker. Alright, so they want us to do a little bit more soaring, which is fine. We can go upward a little bit. Could gain some speed. And that's really all they need us to do. I am ready to serve. Serve with honor. Caldera of the Menders. Your vision from the arcane beacon show that there are Drakthir trapped within their own crashes. We cannot afford to lose any more of our people. Emberthal pauses, her brow furrowed. The healing wings are the finest medical medics in our ranks. Their crush lies within the Caldera of Menders. Cinder Thresh knows the way. Leave no one behind, Evoker. Dervishian, scout the crash of the Ebon Scales. Syndra Thresh and the Evoker will seek the healing wings. Fly with caution, my friends. Dragons are watching. Eltharian would have our hides if he saw this mess. Should call that a uniform. Viridia leads the healing wings. If she is lost, I don't know what I what they will do without her. No time to waste. The healing wings need us. Get moving. Let's get. We have wounded! Here to spar. Look at all these wounded. There are more menders inside. We need to help them. You have your orders. Into the hive. Whatever toxin has infested this crash is potent enough to take down our best healers. That does not bode well for either one of us. No matter, Drakthir are trapped inside. We are going in regardless of risk. Take a deep breath and follow me. Let's get Viridia! Viridia? Are you here? Syndra, easy. The <coughs> I um we went in after you. Shh, 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 shh. I know you are as brave and foolish as ever. Let's have a look at you. Good, you're awake. Viridia coughs to clear her throat. We need an evoker's skill right now. Alright, let's equip our gear. Ooh, that uh, actually upgraded to a 232. Very nice. You recover quickly. Good. Those who escaped my crash are healing, but others remain trapped inside. Rush in to save them 
and I will have to just drag you out again. There are beetle nests scattered around the caldera. Their toxin glands might provide a way to counter the effects of that poison. I'm in no shape to collect them myself. I must rely upon your skills, Evoker. I have patience to see. And easy prey. The wilds surrounding this crash are home to Scythid. They are voracious insectoids, often territorial and aggressive. All these wounded would be easy prey for those beasts. I do not want them attacking our menders while they recover. Call their numbers while I look after Viridia. You have your- You should lie down, Viridia. You need to rest. Nonsense. I <coughs> am perfectly fine. Just hurry back with those toxin glands, Evoker. <coughs> These things are absolutely nightmare fuel, in my opinion. <laughs> I wouldn't mind hacking one to pieces with a giant sword. That would suit me just fine. So, uh, they are disgusting. Kudos to the art team. This is actually like, when I get this close to these things, I actually cringe a little bit. Because uh, they are gruesome. They, they tickle the parts of my brain that is terrified of cr giant crustaceans and giant insects at the same time. Alright, so these are the scythe that we have to kill, but we also need the toxin glands. Which we're not going to find here, but we might find up this way. And there may be a side quest up here? In fact, if I do this, like from here, is it going to hit them? Yes, the answer is yes. Let's head over to this side quest, or whatever is going on over here. Oh, okay, yeah, it is a little side quest. I remember this now. Let's take out some beetles here. Uh, we have Return now, brings a dead party member back to life. That's good. Uh, we can't get into any talents yet, so I'd love to go through the talents right now and get ourselves fully specced out, but we can't do that just yet. Maybe we can get the rest of our toxins over here. Toxin glands. Help, I need help. I am Tono and I was exploring because that is what I am good at, but I did not realize my sister Ko followed me and I need you to help me find her because she is in trouble. Uh, okay, bye. And while we're at it, we will fight some of these Scythid. Oh yeah, apparently he comes with us. Though at least he doesn't help in combat. And he's kind of, he's kind of in stealth, I guess? I don't know why he knows how to stealth, but he is kind of in stealth. Oh, 
Ah, uh, there's a rare back here we can take out. We got a nice necklace out of that. Very cool. Uh, and the sister is up top there. Which means we need to go this way. There is our last toxic gland. Let's help little Ko. She doesn't feel so good. Wanna fly kites later? All right, we got her on the back. We got the brother following. I think we are good to get out of here. I don't know how he's gonna get down, but I'm sure he'll figure it out. He seems resourceful. Let's go turn in the side quest first. Not really sure if I'm going to want to use Sora for this one, if we're going to want to hang on to it. I think we could just have a little walk here through the wilderness. And if we aggro anything, we will deal with it. Alright, we have aggroed this Scythed. My little moose, I was so worried. Who might you she found my little ones. Don't forget to take some soup my people will never journey. forget the kindness you've shown my family today. Songs will be sung of your courage. We came to this isle because we saw a great beam of light shining up into the sky. The legends warn us to avoid these shores, but curiosity got the best of us. We did not know this place was home to anyone. Though I have never seen your like before, I hope your people and mine can become friends. Very cool to see the Tuscar return to the game. Return with pleasure. Who might you be? All right, now we can soar. A hundred yards over here. <laughs> I am ready. What do you need? Okay, we've dealt with the scythed. Anything for an ally. How can I help? I hope for your quick return. Good, these are just what I needed. I will work on something to counter the toxin and get you back into the crush. Stay well. The toxicity in the crush nearly claimed all of us. While the antidote is being prepared, I need you to seek out the wounded and heal them. Yes, even the blue draconid, the healing wings do not stand idly by while others suffer. So we're getting emerald blossom. We grow a bulb from the emerald dream at an ally's location. After two seconds, heal up to three injured allies within it. Take healing the Draconid after they tried to subdue us. There is strength in mercy, Syndra. This world is vast and wondrous. I offer you my aid. Thank you. 
much to be done. Honored to meet you. Aspects watch over you. Healing is my expertise. Violence is not the only avenue to victory. Look out for each other. The antidote is ready. Use it to search the support crest for survivors. Work quickly. The effect will not last long, so you may have to reapply it. If any of my people yet draw breath, save them. And if they do not, I ask that you recover their horn signets so that their names may be honored. While inside, perhaps you can find evidence of how this infestation came to be. Help others. Please, Evoker. Save all of my people that you can, and honor the memories of the Fallen. All right, let's grab the power cell and move it over here. We'll free the survivors. Hope they get out quickly before they succumb. That would be bad. All right, and that's the last horn we need, so now we can get out of here as well. Thank you for rescuing those who could be saved. Rethanash, Kachranasa, Tenezeth, I vow that the names of the Fallen will be remembered. Look out for each other. 
Alright, we've got Hover Launch Yourself and gain 30% increased movement speed for 6 seconds. Allows the Evoker spells to be cast while moving. Does not affect Empowered Spells. So we can't do Charge Ups while moving, but we could cast uh, Disintegrate. We could cast uh, Living Flame. And it gives us a speed boost, so it's good for moving out of a ground effects. Uh, I'm going to leave it keybound here for now, and we'll, we'll see how we go. I am proud to serve The Healing us. Wings. Evoker, you have my gratitude for aiding my weird in our most desperate hour. After we regain our strength, the Healing Wings will rendezvous with the rest of our forces. Syndra tells me that Emberthal lost everyone from her weird. I fear I have no magic that can heal such a wound. She may seem stoic, but Emberthal feels this loss deeply. Tell her I am on my way. I have... My people need time to recover before we can rendezvous with the others. And the Draconid, well, they are not known for their swiftness. The Draconid? Neltharion said we should never show mercy to an enemy. They are soldiers just like us. Do not judge them too harshly for following orders. Alright, so that was basically like telling it to take us on a flight point. Because I had no control over any of that cool flying. The Ebon Scales are under siege by wild drakes, Terasek, and Elementals. I overheard the name Primalists. Then our people are in even more danger than we thought. There is much to be done. Alright. I'm relieved that Viridia lives. If what Devershian says is true, we will have need of her talents in the battles to come. We will find our fate. Let's go ahead and equip everything here. Now, is it just me? Or are we showing our belt? <laughs> We're showing our belt now and nothing else. What's going on with that exactly? So weird. Why are we showing our belt and nothing else? Isn't that, isn't that a little weird to you guys? Maybe we can show... Maybe we can show certain pieces of gear. Like, we're not showing the chest piece. Maybe we show shoulders and belt? That would be so weird. Hmm. Storm Sunder Crater. Diversian's report is troubling. An enemy force calling themselves the Primalist have invaded Storm Sunder Crater, pinning the Ebon Scales down in the Siege Crash. These intruders are summoning violent elementals and recruiting the vicious Tasserek to their cause. Azurathel will need your help at the crater. By wing or by talon, save our people. Once the Ebon Scales are safe, ask their commander to rendezvous with me. Be warned, Sakareth can be prickly. Stay true. The Ebon Scales need our aid. To Storm Sunder Crater! Right. Straight to business. Cavalry has its place. Evoker, this place still has herds of Vorquin. I managed to round up a few of the more agreeable creatures that could be used as mounts for when your wings are tired. Remember how to ride? I was ordered to issue one to you as the scale commanders are ordering you all over the place. Take good care of it. Uh, obsidian, bronze, crimson, or sapphire. Let's take the bronze one. Good to be of service. Alright, yeah, it kind of matches us, which is what I was hoping for. 
All right, so let's uh, let's head on out. We we could soar, you know. I have a feeling that soaring might still be better here when we can. Yeah, indeed, that was probably much much faster. Keep your talons sharp and your breath hot. Looks like we have a fight on our hands. Respect must be earned. Well, Evoker, I hope you are ready to get your talons dirty. The Trek fear will find a place in this world. Alright, maybe we want to go here with this. Proto Dragons flying in reinforcements. An enemy elemental army being conjured on the site. Tasseric recruited into their ranks. Our enemy is efficient and dangerous. This operation must have some greater purpose. Hmm. Why do these primalists seem so familiar? No time for that. Focus on the drag you're trapped on the other side of this crater. Stay true Tangle with the Terrasec. The Terrasec are unpredictable and wild, like Primordial Draconid, if you will. Nalbarian considered them little more than fodder, targets for our training. But they are cunning hunters and deadly when encountered in packs. Should they gain elemental power from these primalists, they will become even more dangerous. We cannot let that happen. Thin their numbers. Fair skies. And conjured Storm army. These primalists are summoning an army of elementals. We have to assume they mean to unleash them against our forces. Well, not on our watch. Rain fire upon them, Evoker. Burn those elementals from the reach and take out their conjurers before they summon more. The obsidian borders stand proud. Let us begin. And the primalists. My memories are still clouded from stasis, but I am certain we have encountered these primalists before. The Vershian grits her fangs. It's no use. Trying to remember feels like chasing fragments of a dream. Perhaps you can fare better. Look for any clues as to what or who motivates these invaders. I know we have faced an enemy like this before, but... I only recall flashes. Fragments. Perhaps learning more about our foes will help us remember what happened. All right. We oh. offer you freedom and power. Here out, here out, here. Join our fight against the aspects. Let's take a look at deep breath. Take in a deep breath and fly to the target location, spewing molten cinders, dealing 6,500 volcanic damage to enemies in your path. Removes all root effects. You're immune to movement impairing and loss of control effects while flying. Okay. That looks good. Eventually we'll get a, we'll be able to return back to our original point. The elements awaken. Infuse me with their strength. And I will free the storm eater from her prison. I do need to take on some of the Tesseric as well. Terrasec even. Uh, I don't think I want to deal with the elite. Yeah, let's move out of the fire breath. Good job. Perfect. 
Let's come get this last fragment that'll tell us exactly what's kind of going on here, I guess. Uh, there's a rare back here, so I'm gonna make my way in that direction. Fight some of these guys along the way here. Uh, Tezenrath. He is some kind of proto-dragon. Let's just drop down on him. Seems like the best way to handle things here. That seemed fine. Definitely want to be avoiding these little things he's putting on the ground. Okay, spikes come out of him. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, we could do this. That's going to allow us to do this while moving. Not really sure what we wanted to do there. We need to deal with this guy. Should probably deal with him before we do anything else. Now we can heal ourselves if we want to. It's not the biggest heal that has ever existed, but it's better than nothing. Let's stay on the move here. I don't really know if there's anything we could do about this. Seems like we just get hit by it. If we had group members, it would probably hit them as well. And we got him. Uh, runic Wing. When obtained, imbues yourself with an arcane barrier that reduces damage taken and lashes out when struck. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. All right, but now we need to get out of here. The Ebon Scales are up ahead. We are bound by duty. Fair skies and strong winds. Got another epic you. upgrade here to a 242. Let's equip that. Stay true to your wear. Any new discoveries? The Primalist speaks of unleashing a terrible storm. Could an even greater threat be locked away somewhere on the Reach? Diplomacy first. We are the shield of the track. The Ebon Scale. We got past the Primalist incursion. Now we must reach the crash. Scale Commander Sakareth is as tough as they come. And his weirn holds the line, but a dragon has the Ebon Scales pinned down. Time for us to join the fight. Take point, give the signal when we are in range of the dragon, then we hit it with everything we have. Watch out for ambushes, I have a bad feeling about this. That's what you want to hear somebody say. Grab that dragon's attention so the Ebon Scales can strike. Get us close to the target and then give the signal, Evoker. Uh, we got, we got problems behind us. Oh, you guys are going to handle it. Noted. There's level 60, we got Fury of the Aspects, which is, um, a time warp, right? 30% haste for all parade members. Uh, it's a big cooldown, don't know how often we'll be using that. It's a five minute, we could use it for ourselves. Blessing of the Bronze, weave the threads of time, reducing the cooldown of a major movement ability for all party members by 15% for one hour. What? Okay. Cooldown of hover reduced by 15%. Oh. 
Yeah, I definitely did not read this ability well enough in the beta. So that's great. That's a good buff. We have a buff that we put up on a group. How weird is that in retail? Uh, we have ticked these guys off. I don't know if this is going to hit them. It did. In this case, we definitely want to cross the streams, I think. Cross all the streams. dragon in our crash. Then fight off an elemental army at our doorstep. I want answers, Azurathel. Answers will have to wait. The Primalist spoke of unleashing a great storm upon the world. We must stop them. Yes. Enough. Rally to Emberthal. Now that the fight is done, you ask me to report to Emberthal? Does Azurathel expect me to follow her commands? I think not. The Ebon Scales answer only to the Earth Warder, and thus far I have received no orders from Neltharion. Still, I am not blind to the threat these Primalists represent. I am certain I have fought their kind before, and yet... We will rally to the grounds once my people have recovered. You are dismissed, Evoker. My Warren takes orders only from me. Understood? I, I got it. You will, but stay alert. There are dragons circling above. Possibly hostile. Ebon Scales. Gather the signets of the dead. Then prepare to move out. Let us begin. Serve with honor. These cultists speak of unleashing a storm. The threat is greater than you know, young ones. We fear these primalists seek to release something ancient, something terrible. Why should we trust you? Were you sent by the Earth Warder? Where is Neltharion? Neltharion? It seems there is much you do not know. I am Abyssian, and this is Rathian. We will answer all your questions in time. But we must join forces and strike now, or the enemy will prevail. This is our home. The Drakthir will defend it. We will fight beside you, but you do not give the orders here, dragons. So be it. 
fine. But do try not to get in our way. After all, I know a thing or two about vanquishing ancient adversaries. All right, very cool. Rathian and Abyssian. Let's get this one taken. There is much to be done. Uh, did that we complete the... Yes, it did. It completed the fourth story chapter. And I think this is going to be a good place for us to take a little bit of a break, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. If you enjoyed the video, subscribing to the channel and leaving a like would really help me out a lot. And I would really appreciate it. Let me know what you do think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.